guys, real quick before the video starts, make sure May 7th, May 8th, Ford Takeover, I rented out the track and the horsepower factory. Dino competition, massive all Ford crews, drag racing, mobile dyno, on and on and on. Ford Takeover, May 7th and 8th, Jackson, Tennessee. There's details on my website and on the Facebook page. Make sure you're there. You do not want to miss it. It's going to be epic. What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, boys. We're getting back hard and heavy on the turbo car. And are, are you ready? Are you ready? Boom! Good car, huh? No. Dude, you've been killing it in here. Got the Motion Raceworks steering wheel in with the momentary switches. And the Dakota Digital. Hold on, let me get the light up here a little farther. Sorry for the glare, boys. Let's see that's the uh the 87 to 89 cluster and he's got the blue accents in there it looks pretty freaking cool guys i'm telling you there's so many options when it comes to, i'm trying to move this light around so you can see there's so many options when it comes to that dakota digital we're actually pretty spoiled all right guys trying to set this light up okay so uh dash is in and the wiring is commencing and because this car oh look yeah how about the boost leash there because uh, this car is quite a bit different a little more racy doing a little bit different uh, wiring on it as well but it is coming along a uh, couple things we're going to do today run uh power and ground to the rear and we're going to do these door panels guys um I didn't show them in Project 4 to 8. It was a long and tedious process, and I was kind of learning as I was going. But uh, now, kind of got a handle on it. And uh, this one, this side's already done. We're going to do that other side. And again, guys, these are the, the door panels from LMR. Um, they're complete with everything. So I'm going to kind of run through that. And then, of course, go through some of the updates in here. Okay, I got another thing we're going to install. I don't think we've showed these yet. I don't think so. I don't think we've showed these. These box. Race car. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. And those are the Shonik ones. Hey, guys, these things literally, like, you could throw these like a, I mean, don't, but you could throw these like a freaking Frisbee. These are the carbon fiber Shonik uh, quarter glasses. We're going to pop those dudes in, see how they look, but try to get you up on them. Like the finish and everything looks factory. And then of course, that's just like a, it's not actual glass as you can see. But yeah, so let's get these, uh, we're gonna get these quarter glasses in too. Make all kinds of progress today. Ain't the easiest thing to get out. No, I got that butyl on them. Yeah. And usually lots of it. Lots and lots of it. You cry at the bottom here. I got it started. It's really stuck here. Yeah. It's, you may have another nut back here. I don't leave It's all out. Certain. One there. Here. Yeah. Here. Yeah, you got them. They're all out. stuck. Yeah, very stuck. Hold on, let me pry the top. Hold on. Okay. Yeah, she's pretty well. Yeah, there it is. Awesome. Whew. Yeah, that one's that one's had a hard life. Let's stick that over there. Alright, let's try these Shonic windows on. Very nice. Brand new quarter glasses. Brand new. <laughs> Brand new race window, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Which those, those stock quarter glasses aren't that heavy either, but I mean, every little bit helps for sure. And they're brand freaking new, you know. Mm -hmm. Even got the matte finish. Yeah, those look great. All right, guys, so let's run through this real quick. These are the uh, premium or loaded uh, door panels you get from LMR, and they've basically, they're loaded because they've got everything. You've got your speaker grill, got your carpet along the bottom your uh, fabric inlay if it's a 87 to uh, 90 and then if you flip them over you've got your deuce wipes and all that 
I mean, it's all here. Everything's here. It's on a nice board. Um, that's kind of like a... It's more, it seems more like a plastic. But, I mean, it's, it's definitely solid. Well put together. Um, but, what you got to do is you got to cut these out. Now, they leave these the way they are, so you can just kind of do them however you want to. But you want to cut all this white stuff out. I put it in the car. I was not. Yeah. Oh. Um, I'm messing you up, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't stop again to say hello <laughs> no guys basically what you got to do is just cut all this white foam out and then make very very light slit in there i mean cut as little as possible i mean these things are expensive so uh, don't jack them up so we cut these out and then uh i'll show you what we're working with All right, so basically guys, once you get all that stuff, and this stuff is a paint, yeah, I cut myself, I'm sorry. Um, basically what you want it to look like is this, and this stuff, you just gotta make pass after pass because you can't use a lot of pressure because you don't wanna get into your vinyl, but just cut all this backing off and then come in here and just make it a little slit just enough so you can see where you're going. And then once it's in the car, which will be there in a minute, you can basically uh, trim just enough off to give you the clearance you need. Basically just get this one, this one, and uh, we're ready to get on the car. All right, boys, so after a little bit of fighting, a little bit of cussing, everything's sitting flat and where it is. Now, you come in and do just enough trimming. So there's gonna be a little trimming up here and maybe a little right there, a little right there. You put that armrest on, which we don't have the armrest uh, ready to go just yet, but door panel is on. Dover's doing the other so quarter glass. Oh man, just. Hey, if you got a friend that'll do that door panel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, guys, it's uh, I know it's not smoky burnouts and stuff, but this is what car building's actually like, right? All right, guys, so we did get the uh, shown at quarter glasses in. We had to play with tightening and loosening and getting everything right. And right in this area, just put a little piece of foam in. It would try to pull in little more than we liked but uh they're in actually we're gonna pull this other quarter glass out yeah one of them's in now we'll get the other one out where you start pulling no i think this one might come out a little easier still cutting the butyl. butyl cutting looks like you got power wire ran two it's there. It's definitely 100% better doing this without uh, interior in the car. Oh. There it is. Hey, look, it's yeah. over. <laughs> yeah. She's out. I think this one's out of a wrecking yard. Something. Maybe. 
hard to say. It's being retired though. Yeah, it's got got somewhat fresh butyl on it. All right, I'm gonna get back to this door panel. All right, guys. So right there, that's as far as I'm going. You get your screw hole right there. Enough room to get that out. I don't want to go anymore because you don't want to end up cutting into something that's not going to be covered up by your trim. All right, guys, we are pretty well set. Starting to look like something in here. Got the got the plastics on. I'm going to wipe those down. But, yeah, basically, uh, we've got the top pads for the armrest, but LMR doesn't make the, the bottom part in black. So, uh, we're going to get some black ones. Got to get ones for this car and 48. But, starting to look like something. Of course, got the Shonit quarter glasses on got some gaps a little bit of gap thinking it'll probably sit down maybe once the sun hits it or whatever but those are in and looking good got the interior panels back in it guys you can see real quick i'll show you turn the light around you got carbon fiber showing through there that's kind of cool here's the thing guys with these i thought long and hard about these quarter glasses you do use that window if you drive the car a lot for your blind spot. Now you can get away with not using it, but as you can, I mean, you can clearly see that you clearly can't see. That kind of worked itself out. No, guys, but seriously, driving the car a lot in town and, you know, on the interstate, stuff like that, I would probably, if you could help it, prefer to have uh, glass still there. But, I mean, you don't have to have it, and these are lightweight. They look cool, and uh, this car is going to be mostly on the track, so no big deal. But yeah, guys, interior's coming together in a big way. We're going to be firing this bad boy. You uh, definitely, definitely don't want to miss this. It's going to be freaking sick. Super excited to see what this car does, because it should, in theory, be faster than the Whipple car, which... It did, uh, seven, I think it was seven, 756, something like that, to the tire on a Mustang Dino. So, yeah, this one's going to be super rowdy. But let me get over here one more time. Show you the other door panel. They're a little dusty and stuff, but came out super good. That's a very, very nice upgrade. All right, guys, real quick, if you haven't, uh, if you're new to the channel, if you hadn't seen the seats, there are the seats for the car corbo i can't remember the actual name of them but yeah there's the front seats gonna be freaking sick all right guys so that's pretty much gonna wrap up uh, the interior projects we've got a lot more coming for boomer's car um, a lot more coming for a little bit of everything but i did want to take a real quick second guys i hadn't really dover and i really hadn't been totally clear about um this shop and like what we do this this is actually not a business um you know there's nobody answering phones there's nobody you can call for a quote there's none of that it's not this is not an actual business dover has a business in town that you know he runs during the week and i run boxcast media so what this is this is for content uh for enjoyment and uh you know helping guys out as far as doing builds and stuff like that and trying to keep stuff in here that's interesting that you know is uh keeps a variety going that you know you guys would like to see that we could help you know do videos to show you how to do coyote swaps or install that or review this part and stuff like that so we're this is not an actual 
shop um, in in the sense of the word we're you know we are here Monday through Friday we do this on the weekends in the evening so I I wanted to make that clear I've had a lot of people complaining that they've tried to reach out to get a quote and like oh we don't want your money it's not like that all right guys so that is pretty much what i got for you today huge update on uh, on boomers a car on the interior it's all those little stuff that aren't necessarily the most in, exciting to film and stuff but that's part of car building you got to do it um i wish this was like a major tv show like you see on motor trend where they build an entire car in a 30 minute show but unfortunately this is just reality here so in the meantime if you enjoyed this video big thumbs up make sure you smash that subscribe button keep it tuned right here guys i've got updates coming on all the cars uh some stuff you don't want to miss so yeah all right we out later guys